superheroes, Rosie here. I am going to show you another fun thing that you can do with your hands and your fingers to get them nice and strong and wiggling. So today, what we're going to need is we're going to need a piece of string. We're going to need a straw. And we're going to need some scissors. And all we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors. And remember, we're going to keep our thumb on top and our first finger or our first and second fingers if you've got smaller hands than me on the bottom. We're going to keep our elbow by our side and we're going to open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. And we're going to take our straw and we're going to cut pieces. Ready? Snip, snip, snip and snip. Now you can do this with more than one straw. You can also use pasta if you prefer, but I like doing the straws because it gets to practice our cutting at the same time. Now, we're going to practice our threading. So with threading, it's a really good activity for helping us to use both of our hands together. So it can be really tricky for children who struggle to use both sides of their body and get one hand to do one thing and one hand to do another. It can be really difficult. So this is where we're going to practice. So the hand that holds the pen, your pencil, your dominant hand is going to hold the thread. And your non-dominant hand, the hand that doesn't hold the pencil is going to be the supporting hand. That one is going to hold the straw. So we're going to hold the straw up. And if you can try and hold the straw with your thumb and your point P to pointer like me. If you can't, you can use two fingers like that. But I want to see, ideally, I want to be able to see through the hole there. I want this space nice and open so that you can see, try and make an oval shape. Okay, so either one finger or two fingers. Okay, so we're going to hold our straw and we're going to take our thread with our other fingers. So remember, we want to hold the thread right at the end. Again, if possible, we want to hold it with our thumb and our first finger or we can hold it with our thumb and our two fingers. But again, I want to see that little hole there. Right? Try not to do it like this. Try not to hold it like this, because it will just make it much more difficult to feed it through. So we're going to hold it as close to the edge as we can with our thumb and our finger. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold this steady, try and feed the thread through the hole. Now, when it starts to poke through the other side, we have to do something a little bit clever. We have to swap our hands over. And this can be really tricky and a really difficult thing to remember. So what we need to do is I'm going to now swap my hands so that this hand, my right hand, is now holding the straw and my left hand is free to pull the thread through. Like that. Should we try it again? So remember, use your left hand first to hold the straw steady. Now, it might be easier to begin with to use smaller pieces of straw. So I'm going to just use a really little piece. Just so that it's a bit easier. You don't have to thread it quite so far through. You can also do this with beads if it's easier or buttons. So we're going to hold this. We're going to use our right hand to thread the thread. Look, it's come pop through already. And we're going to swap and we're going to pull. One more time. We're going to hold it. We're going to thread, 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 thread. <gasps> there it is, pops through. And we're going to pull through. If string is a little bit too tricky, you may want to use a pipe cleaner which is a bit more sturdy. You can also use garden wire, but this is a little bit easier. You can use a whole straw if you want to with a pipe cleaner. So you push, 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 keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Is it poked out yet? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Then we swap and pull. I hope that was fun. See you next time. Bye.